Hi everyone, it's Aaron here from Pi Supply. Just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to assemble one of these. This is the Prusa version of the face shield. We've done another video which shows you how to assemble the eye maker version. Very similar, but it's just slightly different design, so I yeah, thought we'd do another video for you. So you can see we've got all the parts here. Uh, this is a overhead projector transparency in size A4. Um, we've just rounded the corners to make it a little less likely to poke yourself. Um, and it's got four holes cut in the top, which is just a standard four hole hole punch, which you'd find in the UK or Europe. Um, so that's that part. Some, some of the plastic is um, like a PETG plastic, which is a bit thicker. Uh, so this is probably the thinnest that you might receive. Um, and then here you've got the two 3D printed parts, so the main visor part and then this which is the reinforcement for the face shield part. And then you can see here two pieces of elastic. So we've got one piece of elastic which has buttonholes pre-cut into it, and one piece of elastic which is just no holes at all. And so I'll show you with both of those uh, the best way to assemble this. So the easiest way to start is to get the face shield part. You can see there's four pegs on the front of it sticking out, and they line up with the four holes on the shield part. So take one hole and one peg and line it up and then just work your way around the others and then snap it over the last one and that's all on there. Next you need to put the reinforcement part on. Now that just slides over, it's just the resistance fit. So you slide it in on one corner and then work your way around to the other side. As you can see that's not quite on straight so just slide it along to the middle and that's complete. So the next part is getting the elastic strap on. You can see on each side there's like a T-shaped part which is what the elastic comes over the top of. So grab first the buttonhole elastic I'll show you. So just take one hole and put that over one side like so. Then hold it up to your head, put that round and work out which sort of hole you think will be a good fit. You don't want it too tight, but you want it tight enough that it doesn't fall off. So for me, that's there. Line that up and pull it over. And then you've got the finished face shield. And as you can see, it's quite tight. So that's that one. Uh, I'll take that off now. Take off that buttonhole elastic. Now for this one, slightly more complicated, but still pretty easy. So to start with just fold a bit of elastic back on itself like that and then take the scissors and just make an incision so you can see I've got a kind of buttonhole there which you can then put over the one side. Again hold it up to your head and put it round to check the size. So for me it's about there. So fold that back on itself again on that side, cut it with the scissors and you can see there's a hole in there now. And then again, just make sure that's not twisted and then just put, put that over the top of, on that side. So now, again, you can see that's quite tight and isn't coming off easily. So that's it. So that's the Prusa face shield. And yeah, if you've got a 3D printer, we'll put the links in the video description below Please, if you've got a 3D printer, get printing these. Uh, there's, a, there's a group called 3D Crowd where you can find out where they're needed in your local area and you can send them in. Uh, doctors and nurses urgently need this PPE, so we'd be really grateful if you could get your printers up and running. Thanks for watching.